I want to talk about key functions. So I'm going to key in the following x equals and then a list 1, 0, negative 2, 4, and 7. And I hit enter. All right. Now, what if I wanted to sort that, that list? I'd key in sorted and then x and it comes out as negative 2, 0, 1, 4, 7. What if I wanted to tell the system to pretend that all these numbers were in absolute format, that means no negatives, and then sort it? Sort it according to the criteria of pretend they're all absolutes. That would be nice if I could do that. How could I do something like that? Uh, I got an idea. I'm going to go like this. Sorted. I don't have to put in the... Uh, Put it in like that. I can just put in X. This is what I want sorted. I want that X list sorted. But I want you to pretend when you do the sorting, they're all absolutes. That means no negative numbers. Then sort it. What will I see? I'll see 0, 1, negative 2, 4, and 7. Because they'll still write down the negative 2, but when they sort it, they'll pretend there's no negative on it. But when they actually write it, they're going to put the negative 2 right there, between the 1 and the 4. I'm going to leave dollars to donuts. That's what it's going to do. Let's find out. And that's what it did. 0, 1, 2, 4, 7. Oops. Uh, that's doing the pretend thing. It's really negative 2. That's how it would be sorted. If they were all looked at as absolutes. Wow. Well, what if I looked at this list x and I wanted the max max number of whatever was an x what would I get I would get 7 yes I would get 7 but let's make this tough let's do x equals whoops let me click in here let's key in x equals and this so x is equal to that what would be the max number here that would be 50. I'm certain that's what it would be. Key in max of 50. <laughs> 50. I'm fired. <laughs> X. And I should get 50. I do get 50. But what if I told the system, like up here, I want you to pretend they're all in absolute format first. Then what would happen? Then what would be the max number? 90. But it would write negative 90. All right. Let's see if we can do this. How would I go about doing this? Uh, I'd key in max x, but then a comma. And then I key in key equals abs. And then I hit enter. And look what I get. Negative 90. Pretend all these numbers are absolute numbers, that means no negative numbers, and then return the max. That's 90. Oh, but it actually says negative 90 there, so it writes negative 90. Can I do that with minimum numbers? With the min function? Oh, but I can. What would be the minimum function, uh, the return value of this guy? Negative 2? No, pretend it's in absolutes. It would be 0. Because all these guys are going to be positive numbers in the pretend uh, scenario. And I get zero. Because what's the lowest number here? 1, 2, 0, 40, 50, 90. It's pretending they're all in absolute format. No negatives. It's got to be zero. And it is. Okay, I'm going to stop here. It's getting too long. This is George Bull. Thanks for listening. I hope it was useful. Please rate the video and uh, if you can share it, I'd appreciate that. And I wish you a lot of luck.